All right, guys, so a few of you are asking about a Riku uh, cheesecake. Um, one of you even demanding a taste test on video. Hello, you know who you are. Um, so I'm gonna do it. I've woken up, I've just got it out of the fridge. This is as far as I got solo <coughs> yesterday. Um, and this is the Riku brand. So this little dude is like the mascot. Um, why rocks? Is the box so torn up? Well, because I don't have a spoon. And so yesterday, and now, live on the internet, not live, you know what I mean. I'm using it as a spoon. Because <laughs> we're going really authentic today. Um, so I'm going to have some more of this. Like I said, I did take it out of the fridge. So as you could see, it's actually solidified a lot more. And I'm thinking this is going to give me a much more cheesecake experience than it did yesterday. Um, which was delicious. By the way, you're not nearly as jealous as you should be, I'm just saying. So, okay, I'm gonna do this for you guys. I'm gonna just cut, <laughs> I'm gonna cut, cut, yeah, with my amazing knife. Okay, okay, there's probably a little bit too much. These, by the way, raisins, currants, I think they're raisins. I know a lot of you at home will not like those. Um, they're delicious in the context of this because they add like a really twangy sweetness to the product. So I'm just gonna, you know what, I'm actually just going to pick this up because it's a lot harder today. Like yesterday, it was almost like a souffle. It's really good. <clears throat> it's really, really good. Um, the outside has hardened a little bit. Mm. So... It's still melt in your mouth, and that's the that's the big takeaway. It's like a plain cheesecake, so kind of got that twangy cheesiness in there, um, a little bit sweet because cheesecake, but mostly it's the texture. It just like melts, like whipped cream or souffle or something like that. And it's the combination of like the cheesecake flavors with the souffle texture that makes it. It's, it's a banger. It's like an absolute banger. I'm gonna miss you. I was hounding Ollie to go to this place like the moment we entered Osaka. They might well have them in Tokyo and Kyoto, but the one I saw was in Osaka, so that's where we got it. So here we've got the, like, the raisins at the bottom. Mm. It's so good. It's so good. But one thing I would say about this though, as I take another slice to myself, and don't be fooled, I will be having this entire thing for breakfast this morning, is um, like they call it a cheesecake, like Riku's cheesecake. But it's, I think it's beyond that. I think what they've created here is like a new thing, like a new type of cake. I think they should actually just own it and call it whatever they want to call it. Because this, yeah. Like, it's, it's doing its own thing. It's being its own master of pudding. Yeah, okay. Mm. So, hopefully that's cleared up any mystery around what the... Oh, bless it. <laughs> what the <laughs> Riku, Riku's cheesecake is like. Um, if you are coming to Japan, you have to have this. Um, a little birdie tells me... But they're trying to replicate this in um, Berlin. Um, I will be trying that as soon as I get home um, and I can let you know how it goes. Um, but in the meantime, I would like some, some privacy, please, between me and this baby. Bye.